this video it's a little bit different but this is meal time so you're gonna be hearing a lot of baby crying but as you can see from the title probably that we went to Trader Joe's for the very first time so I always I'm not gonna say always but I do be hearing about Trader Joe's but don't think much of it because you know it's not near us it's actually like over an hour drive from us but we decided to take the trip because we are in a a funny moment when it comes to Nala eating so we don't really have a lot of things that we like give her especially that is healthy it's usually like a lot of protein and fruits so that's pretty much it so before she cries I'm gonna give her this as a snack for now until we can figure out her food situation but I've seen these little gone bananas I guess it's just like chocolate over frozen bananas so I thought like why not because she do like bananas she don't love it but you know this maybe like a for a snack here and here and there you know nothing too serious because it does have chocolate in it but because she's waiting on food and we're late on dinner way late hey I can't open it but I got out the box and this is what it looks like right now it kind of been out for the last maybe 10 15 minutes so it's getting a little sweaty but look at that, that just looks like some terrible raisin that's just like shriveled up cold in there. Let me get a knife. This was the closest knife. If my hands ashy, I'm sorry. But this is what it looks like. Shout out to all the beauty influencers out there. Well, why is it not focusing in on it? It don't like it. That's what it looks like. You know. She might not eat it at first. Another one? <laughs> you looking for another one? If she grab another one, then she likes it. Okay. She with it. All right. It tastes like that ice cream treat where it's uh, like an ice cream stick with a chocolate color around it. I'm gonna try it again. I can get why people like it. It has like different phrases of you eating it. It's like when you first put it in your mouth and start chewing it, it's good. Yeah. Then it's like, oh, there go the chocolate. I'm not a chocolate person. Yeah. And then it goes into, it's a mushy banana. <laughs> <laughs> Move on over to our next little Trader Joe's little shindig. It's these mini chicken tacos. Yeah. And it's these little baby tacos. When you pull out the bag, it looks like this. I already heated up some for Nala um, and she has been eating it and everything that we have from Trader Joe's is basically everything we're looking to give Nala. This is what it looks like out the toaster but you can uh, microwave it for one minute. What do you think? What do you think? I don't think I think it's good but you gotta get used to the texture like it's mushy. Mushy? Mine is mushy. Like the actual chicken and whatever's inside it all together feels mushy. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. It's good, I need some different sauce. But. I like that the, the tortillas are real tortillas. It's good baby food. <laughs> ain't that bad. So before we really get into it, we gotta rate thumbs up, thumbs down on some things. Yep. So bananas, I would thumbs up it even though it's not like my type, but I can understand why someone would like it. I thumbs up it too. Chicken tacos. Those are pretty good. It's like an appetizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So moving on. Another thing that we have got, obviously, this is Trader Joe's roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. So whenever we decide to make this, we will show you guys and read it at that point. Yep. But that is what this looks like. This was only for sure around like $3 or so. So that's good. Also, um, this is country potatoes with uh, mushrooms, even though it's like you just got potatoes while you get more potatoes, because <laughs> I feel like, you know, it had all this stuff going on. You like the mushrooms. 
I love the mushrooms, but it had these little green things in it. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's possible she'll like it. So it seems like something easy to grab and just to throw on her plate and let her live her life. It looks like you almost have like a little sauce on it too. I don't know if I'm tripping, but yeah, that is those. I'm ready for these right here. This is what David end up seeing and I didn't catch it. I thought these were wings, but as you can see, this is temporal cauliflower. Yes. Okay. Kung Pao. Yes, this is a Kung Pao. Yeah. Y'all know people be changing uh, cauliflower into so many things. Some people make it into mashed potatoes. Some people do uh, buffalo chicken with this. You can do a, all kind of thing with cauliflower. So that is probably one of the biggest thing I'm really ready to implement into her diet is cauliflower because I know you can do so much with it. Next thing, more cauliflower. Yeah. Um, this is said rice cauliflower. It intrigued me so I grabbed it. But on here I guess I ain't read this part. It said nothing but cauliflower. So I guess it's little cauliflower bites. I'm assuming. So I've seen this. I said rice. I said cool. She's gonna like this. Okay. Oh, you know what I'm forgetting? What? The uh the dried bananas. So, ooh. That is nothing but banana too. Oh my god. I'm gonna tell you all I'm looking like this one thing. So this is another thing that so we got from Trader Joe's and it's called baby bananas. So it is a dried version of baby bananas and I didn't know what this expect but when I felt the bag it was soft so I'm like that's better than the ones that I tried to get her previously that was chips and I wasn't feeling comfortable but when I took it out the bag y'all it's not black it's not black uh, it's really a baby banana it's really a banana it's like banana that smacks you in the face so I'm giving her this Nope. Mmm. It just don't look appetizing at all. But she's eating it. Are you willing to try one bit? Sure. I don't know if I could try this, y'all. <laughs> what that taste like? It tastes like a um old dried up fruit. <laughs> I don't know. David is like one it of tastes, the worst tastes. Of it tastes like old, but it tastes like fruit snacks. Is it good? I wouldn't be craving for it, um, but I can understand why, why a baby would like it. Do you think only a baby would like it? Yeah, just a baby. So like I was saying about this drink, right? Decided to grab this because it sounds pretty interesting. I got it because I seen that the almond butter and some people use almond butter in place of peanut butter. So I'm like, okay, let's grab this. I actually did try this last night and let me tell you something, okay? Don't don't grab this. This reminds me of every single thing that I had within the midwife brew. I, if y'all watched my midwife brew videos, I have two of them and I absolutely dislike the taste of midwife brew. And I realized that the taste I hate it now I realize that it's the almond butter. It smells just like the Midwest Bruce and it tastes like it. I do not like this at all. And I will be tossing this. David even tried it and he did not like it. Ain't that right? Terrible. Terrible, right? Terrible, terrible. And you know what's so crazy? This was the taste I was tasting in the middle ice root and he said he 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 couldn't tell. But I'm like, I don't know how you couldn't taste this. If you want the mint ice brew without buying every little thing, maybe make I'm assuming I'm not positive, don't quote me on this. But I'm wondering if you can skip out on the apricots and do this drink with it and blend this in with the castor oil. And what what else was in there? I don't know. I will be tossing this. So we're back. David's back in the picture. He no longer has to, you know, res rescue a child. <laughs> so we're going to move on to this deck. And this is something that I thought was very interesting because we can't find nothing like this near here anyway. So this is uh, Trader Joe's dried fruit chili spice mangoes. But that's what that looks like. When I seen this, I said, I don't care. I have to grab this. This was about $2.99, I want to say it was. 
kind of remind me of those things that they have in like LA and Miami and stuff like that a lot that has the, like the tahine but it's like actually fresh fruit and not dry fruit. But I was like, why not try this? I didn't get this for the kids. This is just a side note, but yeah, so. What do you think it's gonna taste like? I don't know. <laughs> Cause it's dried fruit too. I don't know, but I wonder if it's gonna be very like seasony. I'm wondering if it's gonna be like hot, hot. This just smells like a bunch of season. It don't smell like it don't like smell like burn nothing. my mouth or nothing like right, that. Grab your piece. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. It's hard to swallow this. <laughs> I just feel like I'm chewing it in my mouth and mm -hmm. I'm afraid to swallow it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I'm feeling like a whole bunch of regret. Like, why the hell did we buy this? <laughs> At first, it was fine. It has like no taste to. It just feels like we just eating a whole tablespoon of seasoning right now. I don't know. I'm starting to, I don't, I'm starting to think I don't really like dried fruits. Uh, this one right here, that's a no for me, dog. Mm -mm. The next thing that we have gotten is this little bag of cut butternut squash. And it says washed and clean microwave in the bag. That's unique. So I'm planning on giving this to Nala. This is what that looks like. I'm excited. Yep. The next thing is that this is very different to me too. This is organic broccoli slaw. Okay, I know coleslaw and I know broccoli. Coleslaw is nasty. Coleslaw ain't nasty, but. <laughs> coleslaw is terrible. Coleslaw But broccoli slaw, I don't know. So when I seen them, I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this, but it's happening. I feel like Nala loves broccoli. Mm -hmm. Well, loves the strong word, but she really likes broccoli though and I want to implement carrots, and I don't know what's all in here. I'm just planning on steaming this, putting some seasoning on it, and then giving it to her, hoping for the best. The next thing we got is these just uh, regular corn, but the only reason why I got this over just getting some any other one, first of all, it's microwavable, and two, it's that super sweet corn. Super sweet. We always get sweet corn, okay? Especially now I know how to make my own cream corn, okay? I'll prefer to have this over any canned corn now. What do you think? Yeah, corn be bomb. Corn now? I don't know what I was doing that day, but that day I came up on the diamond, so I cut off the corn, made my own cream corn. Yeah. But now this is super sweet. Super sweet. So I'm like, could this be better than the corn we already eat? Hmm. Or are they just boasting? Right. So, yeah. It said microwave ready. <laughs> Next thing is green beans, I think. Is this green beans? What is this? Apricot. What? These I are in that, that potato bag. I thought these were green beans. Clearly it's not <laughs> green beans. It's haricot bird. Never heard of it. Let's hope for the best. Hmm, what about these? I'm young. I'm on top. Uh, uh, uh. Bye, Yang. Uh. The bye, Yang. That was oh, not the oh, moment to do that. Uh, that's the only TikTok stuff I know. <laughs> what they do? <laughs> Commercial break. <laughs> so the next thing is carrots. But what made me get this carrots is that they're Halloween carrots or something, man. Look at these colors. Clearly. clearly. Is this fall? Halloween carrots? What Look is, at these what, carrots. What is going on here? I felt like, for one, if I can trick Nala to think she's not eating some cheating, it's awesome. So two, I never seen nothing like this. No. Nah. It just says organic carrots of many colors. That's of all, many colors. That's all it literally says. <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't know carrots came in any other color but orange. And the fact that I don't know that is a problem in itself. What is our stores doing to us? What are they doing to our carrots? Just giving us the it's, orange ones. It's, no. yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> is carrots naturally in more than one color? Is carrots not naturally orange? 
I don't know. I gotta do wrong research now. I have no idea. This is whole all enlightening to me. I wonder if it tastes the same or not. Right. We might be being duped in these stores. Is this why everybody's going to Trader Joe's? So, <laughs> speaking of that, we have this 100% mango juice, okay? It is mango juice, and it says not from concentrate. So, it's supposed to be like pure mango. So, you see on here on the picture, it's a man literally pumping liquid from a mango. So, the reason why I got this is literally for my drinks. I'm hoping that this is good, that I can be able to put in my alcohol. So let's kind of taste I'm ready, this out. I'm ready. I'm kind of excited to taste this one. I'm hoping for the best, but like I said, a lot of times when you get the pure version of something, it's not really as good as the fake version. So let's smell first. Promising. Smell like mango. Smell like a mango. I think it's, I'm used to the sugar. <laughs> it's, it's, you can tell it's just like natural sugar from the mango and it's just the natural mango and you'd be juice. you like, bro, that's what mangoes taste like? But um, I think I'm used to, the, you know, the added sugars from like all these other drinks that we have. But clearly. But it's, it's not, nasty. not bad. It's not it's nasty. It's not bad. I just feel like this little thing gonna be gone. Like, and three sips. I don't know. But this is not bad. Um, also, I don't. The price isn't bad for what it is. So thumbs up, thumbs down. I like it. I guess. Not the bangs. Guess the bangs. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the sweet potato ribbons from Trader Joe's. It's just pretty much thinly sliced sweet potatoes. So this is already pre-done for me. I just gotta season them and pop them. Let's see, in the microwave? Yep, in the microwave. But I thought this was really cool. You all, you all done the work for me because it was kind of hard cutting those sweet potatoes. It was actually pretty hard. Um, but yeah, comment down below how do you season yours because this is something new for us. The second to last thing is these butternut squash zigzags. And this made me really excited because they Again, look like fries. They look like fries. Also, same thing, you can put this in the microwave for four to five minutes. This would be the perfect time to baby let wing. I might try it out though. And the last thing is the alcohol. Probably hot now. <laughs> yes, in the hell. It's this pretty bottle of alk, okay? We are up age. We are in our 30s, okay? Bring it up. So, That's we have this pretty bottle. It is a uh, fruit rose, I guess, alkaline. And it's a Pinot Noir. I don't know, it's a sparkling wine, basically. We've seen it, it was $6.99 in the stove. We was like, why not? You know, i never seen this. It might be different because it's in Trader Joe's. And it's a rose, so. David like rose. Hopefully. I like Brut. Well, David like Brut too, so. So this is a rose Brut. Mm-hmm. Both best of both worlds, there you go. Yeah, so it's a pretty bottle. So this is the last thing we'll be taste testing tonight before we move on to the next day that we try this. I have never experienced a wine cap popping, but I guess that's how I do it though. Ooh. That smell. Strong. Have a drink, watch some YouTube, eat some corn. <laughs> <laughs> so, cheers to you guys for making our channel what it is today yeah thanks for watching this yes i really do appreciate it just for my mental health sake you guys have been a true blessing to me and because of that you've been a blessing to my family and it has trickled over so this cheers is for you guys for being awesome people and great supporters we so love you guys definitely love you guys hey, cheers me first <laughs> Hold up. <coughs> you wasn't ready for it. <laughs> First of all, when you catch someone bet, you go lower than that. Not that low. <laughs> you ain't been patting many bets in your life. <laughs> it's a 
again. Just baby. You know how there's like fumes out of the wine that comes out first when you. Uh, it went up your nose. So I just like inhaled the fumes mm. first and then I drank it. So it created me to choke. So it wasn't because it's nasty, but now I can drink it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> It's like a, like a rose meat prosecco. I ain't mad at it. I just only thing that I ain't too crazy about when it comes to this is that it feels like I'm I'm drinking a rose. Feels like you're drinking a rose. Yeah, like a flower. Like it got hint of floweriness. I don't get that. It's just dry. I ain't mad at it. I don't think it tastes brute though. Would you get it again? If somebody bought it. <laughs> I wouldn't spend my money on it again. If this was like a free wine, well, free wine at a wedding or... I'll drink it. Oh yeah, I'll drink it. Yeah. So yeah, I would definitely say yes. So we're gonna call this a night and the next scene will be us moving on probably tomorrow to trying another one of the foods. So yeah. Until next time you guys. Until next time.